I'm wedding and portrait photographer Vanessa Joy and today we are talking all about how to pose guys. I do have a video here on my YouTube channel about how to pose females. It has a lot of the same basics that we're going to talk about, but there are some nuances for posing men and for posing men who aren't models, even though Bravo is a model here and you can check out his Instagram at underscore I am underscore Bravo or we will stick it in the link below. But we're going to pretend like he's not. We're going to talk about body language and we're going to talk about how to make a guy Ooh, call that in, <laughs> make a guy look more powerful and masculine and really pull that out of him by body positioning and lens choice and angles, uh, and then also how to make him not look stiff. So all those things, I probably won't remember them all, so let's just shoot. I am shooting with my R5 and my 28 to 70 F2 lens. Why? Because I'm going to vary that wide angle and more telephoto. I want to do both. There's reason for both and what I'm trying to get the pose to convey. First thing you always want to do when you're posing someone that's standing, start from the bottom up. A good base is going to make a good foundation for a good pose. So what I like to tell men is you're going to stand skateboard style. So kind of turn a little bit that way and stand almost like so you're standing on a skateboard and then the front foot is going to point a little bit towards me there you go yep and you can lean more on your back leg than on your front and that's about it i don't care so much about you know which direction and really where his foot actually is as much as i care about him not uh, breaking so you don't want both feet nobody stands like that you always just stand leaning on one side or the other because that's what we do transition weight another thing i like to do is point his chest towards where the main light source is it's going to open up his chest going to make him look more powerful wider stance <laughs> I think I really need to work on my vocabulary words because powerful and masculine is all I got. <laughs> so starting from the bottom, this looks good from here. Actually, you can turn a little bit more towards me, I think, right about there. That is good. Hands can go in the pants pocket. Now, this is something everybody always argues about. Do you put the thumb in? Do you put the thumb out? Do you only hook on the thumb? I don't care. And I'm sure there's some little minuscule reason posing 101 is correct but if you concentrate too much on thumbs then you're probably not going to have a good experience for your client in posing them all right so we got our stance he's standing kind of lean more on this leg a little bit here oh hands in your pants pocket and then you're just going to keep your head turned a little bit more towards me and let's just take one picture here so we have a base and then what you're going to do so his head is tilted perfectly this is actually what you want for a guy but do me a favor and do the opposite and tilt your head this way yep this right here is actually more of a feminine tilt especially if i come over here you're gonna look at me this way good you almost look like super sweet right now <laughs> looking at me that way as opposed to if you do this yep turn your nose towards me a little bit here right there now this is like straight out of gq that little head tilt and it's saying the correct way to say it is tilt towards the low shoulder for guys, tilt towards the high shoulder for girls. Girls can actually do both pretty well. But for men, that low shoulder, it just exudes more masculinity and assertiveness, I would say. I've got a lot coming for you, but first a little freebie. Download my free posing inspiration guide. You can download it in the link in the description below. All right, so this looks good right now. This is kind of your basic pose but you always want your clients to move around. So when you have that foundation set, now let's have them do something because ultimately they're gonna move a lot better than they're gonna stand still. So here's what we'll do. You can keep your hand in your pocket for one and just kind of lean on one leg, good. And then go ahead and lean on the other leg. Nice, and then move your head, look over that way. Good, and then lean on the other leg again. Perfect, and then you're gonna slowly walk towards me, but when you walk towards me like, Fix your cuff link, look at your watch, look up, down, left, right, anywhere. Watch, good, look up at me. Nice, and put your hands in your pockets as you walk. Perfect, look at me, nice, awesome. All right, so adding a little movement is gonna go a long way. All right, now let's get to leaning. A lot of people uh, automatically do the, the lean this way and look at somebody here, but let me show you what that does. And this is wrong because one, it's not posing nicely. And two, 
we look like we've lost a leg here. So let's not do this. <laughs> you're gonna walk this way a little bit more. And instead of that, you're gonna lean against with just your shoulder. You don't wanna do the hip and everything, just your shoulder. And then you can put your foot wherever it can go in front. And this is more of the feminine type pose, but go ahead and cross your arms and then tilt your head this way, right there. And this is more of the masculine pose. Now with where we are here, let's bring the lens into this. So I've been shooting mostly at 70 millimeters. I'm going to back that up and start shooting more around 35 because this is gonna actually make him look even more, take up more space really in the frame, more powerful, and I'm gonna lower my angle a little. So you're gonna stay exactly where you were like this. Um, let's see, a lot of times I like to just get in the pose and see what's comfortable. So if you're here, bring your shoulder forward a little bit more. Still look, do that kind of uh, head tilt this way, sorry, this way. Yep, and I'm gonna stay here, just kind of lean. Good, and then look off that way. So lowering my angle, and then you can go ahead and actually just stand up and just do one hand in the pocket, one hand down. It's really the same pose that we did before, but now, sorry, I'm gonna come this way. You can tilt towards me a little bit right there. But now I've changed my angle and my lens. We've got a completely different view as opposed to if I stand up, now he doesn't have that same kind of take up the whole frame power to him. So a little bit wider of an angle, a little bit lower of an angle is gonna help. And anytime where you can get them to lean against something, even better. Now I asked him to cross his arms while we were leaning. So we're gonna go back there one more time. And I did this for a reason with guys, sorry, take your breath. With guys, <laughs> you want to um, portray strength. So when you have that right angle in their arms, that's a very strong body language posture. Versus more relaxed, go ahead and put your hands in your pants pocket. That obtuse angle is a little bit more relaxed, not as forceful. Now, I wouldn't pose you like this probably, but do me a favor, just go like this. If he's doing this and he's got this kind of like uh, acute angle right here, this is more of like a dainty elbow angle. I would not pose a guy doing this. This is very like <laughs> cutesy. Girl, I can do it. <laughs> but go ahead and uh, do the arms crossed. Another thing, you know, doesn't hurt to puff out the biceps, right? <laughs> Take my own advice, get a lower angle. Nice, that looks good. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do is do some seated poses. Now, whenever I have somebody sit down, I always tell them to sit down however they are comfortable, and then I'll move things. The last thing I want someone to do is being like, I don't know how to sit. All of a sudden, you don't know how to sit anymore. <laughs> nice. So right away, it looks pretty good. Most people, when they go to sit, they do what Bravo is doing right now, is they have their feet both in the same position. But we're not very symmetrical beings, at least when we're just being ourselves. So I always take any type of symmetry that I see and I change it. So you're gonna bring this foot a little bit closer to me. Yep, you can lean forward again, because I did like that. And then just take, instead of holding hands in front, just let one hand kind of hang forward, nice. And then the other one a little bit further back. So we'll go ahead and take a photo at eye level, and then I'm gonna switch it up and go a little bit lower, and you'll notice a pretty big difference here. I'm actually gonna switch my angle too. You're gonna to tilt a little this way, right there. This was a better angle for me because of chin position, which is probably the last thing I wanna talk about here. So I'm so sorry about the picture I'm gonna take of you, but can you stick your chin back a little bit this way? So automatically, especially if someone's smiling, people do this. You smile because you're like, haha, and you laugh. And you're, you tend to do this with your head. But what that does, not so much for someone who's as in shape as Bravo is, but it creates a double chin, really for anybody. So what you want to tell people to do, one of two things, whichever they respond best to, either stick your chin forward, like you're sticking your uh, head like a turtle, or you can take your forehead and like push it towards me, kind of like, what are you saying? There you go. <laughs> and then that way you get a nice, perfect, a nice jawline. So you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna point your chin out that way. And don't forget guys, whenever you're posing, it doesn't always have to be face forward. Pose someone how they are and then do a 360 around them, unless there's, you know, a building, then a 180. 
and then look down at your watch. Perfect. And then I'm gonna have you do one more seated one. Maybe like right here with your feet off this way. There we go. And you do the same thing. So unsymmetrical yourself, <laughs> one foot out, one foot in. Nice. I think I like this better because you can actually relax your arms a little bit more. Yep, kind of fix the shirt. If you're photographing a groom, make sure they unbutton their jacket when they're doing anything seated. Nice. And then I love he did that automatically, but look at his elbows. He's got them both at right angles. Very strong position. You can lean forward a little smidge right there, and then that elbow can come forward a whole bunch. Yeah, right there. So you're going to look towards me. So let's do everything wrong first. I'll take it from all the way up here, and then you're going to tilt your head that way. Nice. And then tilt your head the other way. That would be the low shoulder. And then I'll get a little bit lower, a little bit wider of an angle. And now he looks much more assertive. And then you can tilt your head up a little and then chin down and really stick it towards me. Perfect. And then do just a giggle, <laughs> a laugh. <laughs> there you go. And then, and then look out that direction. Perfect. And then you're gonna look towards me. Good. All right, so we covered a lot. Give you some ideas for sitting, things to look out for body language, change up the symmetry, change up your angle, change your focal length, stick out the chin, probably rewatch this video and give it a try. Hit the bell, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.